Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Welcome back. Uh, February is almost ending. I am tired of what's going on inside my grow tent. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound weird. I'm a little clogged up, but here's my little uh, germination station. This is literally, sorry about the lighting also. This is literally what it looks like when I am germinating. Okay, so uh, right here, actually these, these four seeds right here are uh, persimmons. Okay, I got them out of a persimmon, so I actually want to see if I can germinate them. I'm not sure if that's possible or not. Right here, I actually have some um, orange mint. I'm really excited to see how that's going to turn out. Okay, that's probably going to smell amazing. They're already germinating a little bit. I have my little uh, pak choy right here. These guys are doing good, as you can see right there. This is literally how I do it. You know, run the pH, make sure it's correct, and you dip them in there. Just like I showed you guys in the previous videos. Okay, so we have that. That's going to be awesome. I'm really excited to do the pak choy and see how that turns out. And also, this is like a heating tray, just so you guys know. It's like a heating mat. Uh, cats love sitting on it, but basically I just kind of put it down and it lets the, uh, the uh, seeds kind of um, maybe germinate a little faster. I have, this is a giant Italian parsley. I know it looks a little yellowish because I put a ton of seeds in there. I'm going to be putting a, a maybe five seeds into each pod just to see how they, um, if we could germinate a lot of them. And here we have an abundant spinach. So they're really weird seeds. Sometimes really weird seeds take a lot longer of a time to germinate. But this is what I got upcoming because uh, I think it's time to switch it up. Uh, let's go ahead into the tent. All right, so we are in the tent right now. This is what I got going on. Everything that I've had going on. Not been really eating too much of what's uh, what's in here because uh, I'm kind of tired of it, honestly. Uh, after a while, I mean, again, I told you guys way in the beginning, how much basil can you possibly eat? How much pesto can you possibly make? This is what happens. And also, when you have a lot going on in your life, work, whatever it is, you're trying to keep up with things, it is much harder to get yourself into <laughs> into actually keeping things um, properly working in here, you know, making sure that the water is always in there. Sometimes, I, I told you guys in the last video, my broccoli basically died. I had to like perform CPR on it um, to actually really get it back into, there we go, uh, to the shape that it's supposed to be in. I haven't even messed with this basil right here. I'm just not into it at all. And the broccoli here, it's, I mean, it's growing flowers, okay? And the, and the other two broccolis, the other three broccolis actually just, they never made it. They are taking way too long to, to, uh, to bloom, okay, to flower. So it's taking forever and it's just taking up so much space. Like it's, it's kind of becoming a burden, okay. It's kind of becoming really frustrating and um, I'm kind of annoyed by continuously referring to the same stuff over and over again. I want some new stuff in here. I want to kind of discover with you guys what can we grow without dirt and even with dirt. I don't even care. This is Grow Indoors 365. This is not an only hydroponic channel. I'm willing to go and try different type of aspects of growing just completely indoors though. And that's going to happen. I'm going to be getting a, uh, another tent real soon. I got my eye on one. I have a number of Q and a questions from you guys, and I will be doing a Q&A probably this week. I just want to feel a little better so I don't sound as clogged up as I am right now on my on camera. Um, but if you have some additional questions, make sure you leave them down below for some additional questions. I already have a number of questions written down, and I will address them, and I'm really excited to do that for you guys. But this is really it. I mean, I'm going to be literally chopping everything down. This is this all has to go. That's why I regerminated fresh seeds. I want to do like a tower of strictly lettuce. I want to do another tower of just strictly lettuce and I want to do some other fun stuff. I'm super excited for that for that mint. I'm a I'm a huge mint lover. I like making mint tea. I like just you know boiling some hot water, throwing some mint in there. It's absolutely amazing. I love that. So and I've never grown mint. So we'll see how that works out. And also the pak choy. I mean uh where I, I'm super excited to see how that turns out because I, I realized the way that the root system will kind of develop and the actual flowering, the way that the, uh, the actual vegetable blooms, it's a, it's a way that I can confine it in one of these uh, pods. So it's also realizing what type of vegetable that you could actually 
do hydroponically, you know, because as of right now, I'm strictly focusing on hydroponics. As soon as I get my secondary tent, I will be probably taking both tents downstairs into my basement and having one tent, possibly multiple, multiple kind of, uh, uh, what are they called? Multiple like buckets of dirt that might have some peppers or tomato, but I'm really not into that whole germination thing I mean it's 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 a problem and you're just wasting time if you have to ma manually pollinate something it gets frustrating and I primarily want to uh, strict you know stick with uh, non GMO organic seeds so that's really important to me so if you guys know some good sites out there that have great seeds that might not require me to germinate leave them down below uh, also you guys don't leave links to a lot of other stuff. I know there's people that promote certain things. You guys do like teeny URLs and you include your affiliate information into Amazon stuff. All that stuff is considered spam. It actually gets automatically put into the spam folder and then it just gets deleted. So uh, if you have a product in mind, please leave a small description. Don't really put in links because those just get automatically flagged by YouTube. It's not even me, but when I do see them, I do delete them. Um, I'll be upfront about that. So uh, this is it for this uh, for today. Today is Sunday, and uh, I'm gonna leave it here. But I hope you guys continue watching. Make sure to subscribe, and there's so much cool stuff coming up. Coming up, I have also have that watermelon situation. So I'm gonna be trying in the next like I guess like month and a half. I'll probably try to germinate them in the next like week or two. Unfortunately, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with that watermelon. I already have the sugar baby watermelon seeds here. I have them in my possession. I'm ready to go. I will also be making a video on how to create a raised bed for outside gardening because my wife and I will be creating that and I'm pretty excited to do that because it'll be the first time that I'm growing outdoors. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Pretty excited about that. But I also will 100% be doing and trying a hydroponic watermelon indoors. I have a huge light. One of my first lights is like a um, it's a high pressure sodium lamp light with an external, um, I forgot what, a ballast. You know, I never wanted to use that light. I thought it was extremely aggressive and I felt like it was a little too powerful for the situation I'm trying to do. And also when you have a multi-tier, a large light like that, that requires ventilation from one end to another due to the bowl being overheated over a certain amount of time. That all is just just sounds crazy. It's a lot of it's a lot of work to manage and maintain. I have that downstairs, and I will show you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure to share, and I hope to see you here next time.